I feel more at peace. I feel more put together. Get rid of it. Just a bunch of crap and papers. Get out. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, nice to meet you. Today is going to be a huge declutter organization, getting my life together, getting ready for the work week. We have a lot to do today. Some of the things I need to get done today are declutter my closet, declutter my junk drawer, declutter my island cabinets, declutter my office, meal plan for the week, grocery shop for the week, and declutter my car. Let's see if we can get all of that done this week. I have my Starbucks. I tried to try the pineapple green tea um, No pineapple matcha latte and It's not very good. It just has a weird aftertaste. I think because they used coconut milk I'm not really a fan of coconut milk. It has a weird like metal taste to me I don't know, but I had points so I wanted to try something new I've recently been exploring the idea of minimalism specifically in the last year. I've just been finding myself wanting to get rid of a lot of stuff and have like nothing on the counters, nothing in anywhere that I can see. Like I want everything to disappear. Um, I've been looking into minimalism and what that means. And I don't wanna be like that person that has nothing in their house, but I feel like when I have less stuff and less clutter, I feel more at peace, I feel more put together, and I feel like I can focus on things that really matter as opposed to just being stressed about cleaning the house or having clutter. A clear house equals a clear mind. Am I right? So this is what our closet currently looks like. This is my side over here and I'll kind of tell you where I got everything. So this shelving unit is from Ikea and I got six inserts here. Here I keep my underwear, bras, socks, bathing suits, my robes, and then this is like miscellaneous jackets. Purse down there and some shoes. Here is kind of like nothing really important except for my leggings. I have two purses up there and this setup here, like the actual thing is from Wayfair. It was super cheap. I'll see if I can link it down below. But this whole closet was DIY. We did this ourselves because if you guys don't know, closets are insanely expensive. I'm talking like $500 even from Ikea to get like this whole setup. So Wayfair is where it's at. The mirror back there is just from Target. It was like $10. This shoe rack my mom actually found on the side of the road, which is so cool. Someone was throwing it away and she knew I was looking for one. And so she called me and she was like, do you want this shoe rack? So as far as organization, over here is all of my... Excuse me. Get back into your place. These are all of like my casual shirts. This is what I wear when I'm not at work. And then these down here are my work shirts. These are my work pants. I have shorts, long pants, t-shirts, and t-shirts. As you can see, I'm a little bit crazy with the t-shirts. That's definitely something I need to tackle today. Um, these are my dresses, and these are my long sleeves and my jackets. It looks like a lot of clothes, but it's really not. Like, I can do this. And I have a lot of space, so I don't think I have too many clothes, but I did recently order some clothes from Ari and H&M. So I'm like, every time I buy clothes, I try to get rid of some clothes. That way I don't keep accumulating and I get overwhelmed with how many clothes I have. So yeah, let's get started. Like these itty bitty tank tops, like when have I ever worn this? Literally never. Tank top from Marshalls. It's just gotta go. A lot of these clothes I've had since literally like middle school, high school. I just like never get rid of them. Blue and then gray and then white, right? That that makes sense to me. Oh, this hurts my arms. No, it has to start with black. I changed my mind. Black, gray, blue, from dark to light. Okay, so we got black, then it goes into gray, then it shades into blue. Then it goes into white and then brown, pink, plaid. Look at all these extra hangers I have. Okay, I think I'm gonna do my leggings next. A rule that I'm gonna go by is that if I haven't worn it in over a year, get rid of it. Okay, I'm not getting rid of any of these. That was a complete fail. Okay, so these are my good leggings, right? I have three pairs of good leggings. These are like leggings that I use to work out every week. I have one pair of 
biker shorts. Literally just one pair. I love these. I wear them all the time. And then I have two pairs of like crappy leggings that I wouldn't wear to like my normal workout. But these come in handy for skiing. I mean, you guys saw my vlog. I needed to wear leggings under my ski clothes and I didn't want to wear like my nice Lululemon leggings and like get them all ruined in the snow and everything like that. So these I'm going to put into like long-term storage. I'm actually going to put this with my ski gear and at least it won't be in my closet. Do you know what I mean, Vinny? Do you know what I mean? Say hi. And these are just my long pants for the winter. I have some Nike joggers. These are the ones from Shein that you guys saw. And then just another pair of blue joggers. I feel like that's enough. Okay, next we have my bathing suits. Let me pour them all out. I don't know, I don't wanna get rid of any of these. Oh no, Vinny, help me, I need your help. Okay, I'm gonna think about the bathing suits and come back to it later. Not that I ever go anywhere anyway, but summer's coming, you never know. Okay, so I got rid of a bunch of stuff and over here I'm keeping my outerwear, things that I wear more often like this corduroy one or the jean jacket or this green one. And then over here I have like sweaters, more so for winter, but it's way too hot right now to wear this anyway. And then over here I have like thicker, thicker outerwear, which is like for Colorado. That's not a scratching post. And then over here I have my long sleeves. And then over here I have dresses and like skirts and things like that. Um, I got rid of like half of my dresses. Like I said, I've had a lot of this stuff since middle school, high school, graduations, dresses for those occasions and it's just time to move on. I'm like holding the entire ring light, just so you know. I'm holding it and like moving it around. The dedication, guys. I actually need more work pants, so I'm not gonna get rid of any of those. I don't know. This thing is actually broken. It's so annoying. I lied. I'm getting rid of this pair because they're from Zara and I love Zara, but when it comes to their work pants, seams, I'm like so afraid that they're gonna split apart. My butt is gonna show up at work. So these are like at the end of their life. So I'm gonna donate those. Now it's time to tackle my t-shirts. This is gonna be the hardest part for me because a lot of these t-shirts have memories like my high school volleyball t-shirts or things like that, summer camps. Let's see how I do with this. Got two large piles. I'm gonna do my pants too while I'm at it. And my shorts are fine. Okay, let's go. Let's go over there, guys. Come with me over here, over here, over here. Okay, so this pile is donation, two pants, and then a chunk of t-shirts, and I'm keeping the rest. And this pile I want to keep, but these need to be washed because they started to smell because I never wear them, but I just, I can't get rid of these. They're all like sentimental and they are just like comfortable. I'm gonna try to force myself to get rid of at least three more of these shirts so i have to pick three that's my rule the like little caesars that's so cool i'm not getting rid of that my brother used to work there grand canyon like come on college uh experience can't get rid of that this is like a nice polo shirt it used to be aj's shirt and now i wear it and it's like cool because it's like polo but i wear it casually because it's too small for him like how, how can you choose how can you choose this one's from thailand and it's like a rainbow can't get rid of that. This one's also from Thailand. We went to Thailand on our honeymoon, by the way. Um, so that's like an important memory. 7-Eleven, got this from Thailand for like a dollar. Florida Gators, come on, you can't. You can't. This is um, church ministry that I was a part of at UF. Can't get rid of that. Look at this nice Nike shirt. Used to be AJ's. I can't do it. I refuse. 
Maybe later I'll think of something, but... Okay, so I have two big piles for donation and then I have piles for my family and friends. And I think that wraps up the closet. Let's take a look. It looks much lighter, especially here. Like I said, those I still have a bunch of t-shirts that I need to wash, but this will probably be up to there, which is better than before. And then these are like my tank tops and workout tops. Are you laying down? Yeah. You're so cute. Don't bite me, please. Your nails are crazy. But you won't look at your tongue. But you won't let me cut them. Because you're a psycho. Ow, jeez. This will probably sit in my trunk for at least two months. Mm, cute. She doesn't bite you. Does she doesn't bite me? No, of course not. Do you want to go to Ikea? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. I don't have to take a shower. You don't have to take a shower? No. Why? <laughs> We're going to go to Ikea because I want to get a shelving unit to put in the closet here of our office so that I can organize this stuff and organize my desk stuff and just have somewhere to put all of these miscellaneous items like our ironing things. 79 cents for a slice of cake? That's insane. This place is like Disney World. I want this. You want that? I actually really want one of these. Really? Like a small one for the desk. For your desk? Yeah. But Cute. I'm obviously going to get it off of Amazon. No, it's cheaper here. Trust me. It's five dollars. These are cute. These are cute. They are cute. Let's get them. Two? One? One is enough. Guys, this mirror is $79 and it's 43 inches. That's insane. These go for like three, four hundred dollars. They have so many cool mirrors. Babe, this is what we need in our gym. Gym mirror. 14, $15. We just get three of these? Four. Four? However many. Five. Can we get them? Right now? I still have to redo the entire wall. Oh. I like it. That's nice. I like this a lot. I like the gradient that they have. Those are cute. Those are really nice. Okay, we're back from Ikea and we got this little plant. I think I'm gonna replace this viper with this. That can be a vibe. So I think this will stay here and then I'll give AJ this one because he was really wanting a plant but he didn't really like any of the ones over there but he likes this so. Next on my decluttering agenda is our junk drawer. Now don't judge me for this. Just a bunch of crap and papers that needs to disappear. Okay, here's the final product. So much better. I used these little bowls to organize like the miscellaneous things in here, but overall it's looking much better. And then this stuff I need to take into the garage. And then this is like paperwork and stuff. Look at these wedding pictures. So cute. Okay, the next area I'm decluttering is under my island. I have these cabinets, Christmas decorations and candles. I think the only thing from here that I need to get rid of are the candles. And then over here is basically empty, just a couple of extra things. A lot of these are like half burnt and I'm never really gonna get through them. This one I'm keeping, this is my favorite. This is the Fresh Balsam from Bath & Body Works. It's only half burned from Christmas. I'll probably continue burning it 
this Christmas. But yeah, that's basically it for this area. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and check off the things that I've done. This app I really love, it's called to doist it lets you put in things that you need to do and you can assign days to it so you could see today's stuff or upcoming stuff if you put things for like tomorrow and it's really cool so under the declutter section i've done my closet i did my junk drawer and i did my island cabinets i still have to do my office and my car and then I still have to meal plan and grocery shop but if you're looking for a nice organizational app I really recommend this one because it just makes it super easy so to enter a task you just go down here you put in your task let's just do this as an example and then you can choose either today tomorrow next weekend or you can choose a day so if I choose tomorrow then back on the home page and then we can see today's tasks and tomorrow's tasks will be there too. So it just lets you see things in a really easy way, which I haven't found another app that allows me to do that. So, okay, so AJ went to Walmart and I wanna show you everything we got for the week. So we got some bananas, zucchinis for the grill, broccoli, onion, chicken breast. I wanna try to grill these this week. Um, English muffins, this is for my breakfast during the week. Butter, onion grapes, a bunch of strawberries, pretzels, edamame. I like to snack on this whenever I'm hungry. It's like a great healthy snack. Pot stickers. These are always good for a quick dinner or a quick lunch. Um, we got these little, they're called little smokies, little sausages. This is good for a quick dinner with rice or potatoes with some caramelized onion. Spaghetti sauce. Wait, did you get meatballs? No. Ritz crackers, this huge flank of salmon for only $14.21. Such a good price. Price per pound is $7.64. Great price at Publix. This goes for like $11 a pound. Get down, get down, thank you. And then dark chocolate. This is my dessert. Every night I have a couple squares. What's up? What do you want? So yeah, this is everything we're gonna eat this week. I also do have some chicken thighs and ground beef in the freezer that I'm gonna use as well. These are just the things that we had to actually buy. Every time, Benny, every time without fail. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Get out. with it i reorganized everything up here got my paper towels some paperwork and then i have this shelving unit and in here i just have like extra camera gear um screen protectors just like random office related things ironing board fishing rod that actually needs to go in the garage and then air mattress and then some extra hangers so yeah that's basically it for this weekend's organization it's sunday evening it's 5 59 we are making dinner salmon with butter sauce and roasted broccoli this is one of our favorite meals. We eat it probably almost once a week. Usually on Sundays, we'll rotate between salmon or like something else that we really love. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still watching at this point, comment something like a smiley face or a heart so I know that you guys are the real MVPs. But besides that, bye.